I have got a big challenge. I have loads of unread emails and I don't want to go through all of these emails. I need to be able to smartly decide what I want to do with each of these emails, which one needs my action, which one I need to reply to and all that. So what I'm going to do today is that I will go ahead and reach inbox zero. That is the goal today, reach inbox zero. And what I'll be doing today is a little bit of fun that I've been playing with for the last couple of days. I will actually make a video on how you can set this up personally once I become sort of a more than beginner level in it. Maybe still in my, in my beginner stage, I might make some videos on it also. But today is to actually show you one of the things I've been doing with it from day to day. So I'm going to minimize my mailbox now so you can see what is going on. I've got the email, over 200 and red emails. So what I want to do now is I want to trigger this workflow. This tool is called N8N and I'm hosting that locally on my Synology NAS. I've made a video about my Synology NAS previously. You can check it out in one of the cards showing here. And one of the reasons I love having a home lab slash server setup, I have a powerful rego so that I'm using for some of these things. Some video coming in on that in a later date. But today is about the email. So I'm self-hosting these with Cloudflare tunnels. Uh, so I can connect to this anywhere in the world. But then let's get started. So what I've done here is on a daily trigger at midnight, what happens is that it's supposed to get all my emails and I have another trigger that when a new mail comes in, it's supposed to fetch the emails every 15 minutes and then decide what to do on that email. It's active currently now, so it's actually going to work. So that is why my mailbox has actually come in the last couple of days. But before I put it on a daily run, I wanted to walk you through how I go through reaching inbox zero on the first setup. So I look through all my emails. I go in one batch, one batch size each because I don't want to overwhelm the system. And then I have an Azure open AI model here. So I'll clean that up. No action and response needed. Um, so I'm getting the entire email body and I'm setting that up. I'm going to run this in a bit and you see what it looks like. So the Azure OpenAI model is just a connection that I'm using. I've already set that up in my credentials library. More on that in a more detailed video on how to set up credentials and editing and all that. And then I have my parser, which just puts the email in a nice format for me to be able to action. And then this goes in a loop and waits 15 seconds between the next run so that it doesn't overwhelm the API and give me rate limiting errors. That is why I have that word over there. And then I do a switch here. So if I don't need to respond, sorry, if I don't need to respond, it goes to the no action switch. If I need to respond, it drafts a response for me. And this is the action to draft the response. Yeah, draft the response here. And then max the email as read. So if I need to action, it puts in the red category, max the priority as I, the max the message has read, gives me a message draft. And then if I don't need to action it, it just goes ahead and mark the email as read. So, and then execute that workflow. So it's going to grab all my emails. As you could remember, I had 226, 30, then 89, then one junk email here. So it's going through grabbing all my emails, all my unread emails, just the unread emails. The ones I've read is to skip them over. So it's grabbing all my mails. That takes a couple of seconds, depending on the volume. If you have thousands, it's going to take way longer. But this just uh, under one minute, you should be able to get all my emails. So I have a total of 345 unread emails. So it's going through, done the first one here. So if I actually go through here, you can see I have an email from Len Worlds telling me what to do and all that. Because it's going through, it's going to start looping over. So it even generates the tone for me. Intent, the no action one I mentioned earlier on. So no action needed for me on this. A reply for it, if it actually needed a reply, and then a summary of the email. And then it goes over and over and over again. Once each item is done, it just goes ahead and performs the action on each of this. See all that going through all those emails one by one. And if I go to my mailbox now, you'll see this is going down. Decisions was 30 earlier on. Here was 30. 
So this right here was 39, 29, 9, 9, 9, 2, 2, 4. You see, it is going down. So that is how I reach in box zero. You see, it's going down, it's going down. Let me actually give it a refresh. Because we're doing that wait thing, it's going to wait and then go through all my emails and bring me to inbox zero. I'll see if I actually need to action any emails yeah, and the email will come up in my draft here. So that is what I'm waiting for, for this to finish running. So I'm going to just fast forward this part and show you where it's finished running because this will run 345 times. So I'll be back in a bit. So what I've done for this uh, operation is that I have exported the file into a JSON file. I'll put the link to download it in the video description and pin comment. So all you have to do is just go into your downloads folder, wherever I downloaded the file to and open it. So what it's going to do for you here is that it will uh, start asking you for stuff. So you might want to give this a very cool name. That is why I put the placeholders here. Uh, so replace all that one and then you can change your model to maybe Anthropy or Azure uh, OpenAI. Make it wait 15 seconds and increase your timeline if you wish to. And then of course, set your credentials here. For me that is set up, so you see the red went away here because I just clicked into that and then it's all good and ready to go. But in your case, you just set it up afresh. And once you're good, remember you can always replace the email services that you've used and then you should end up pretty much with something like this one here that works and then it just goes through and make life easy for you. See, my emails, email reads are coming down. I'm not going to make you wait around until it goes to inbox zero because it's finally going to work but it's going to take a very long time and I don't want to make it super boring for you. You can see the count is coming down by just staying with it and just seeing it run. So that's the video. That's the goal. I tell people automate stuff. When I say automate, I really mean automate because automation doesn't just remove stress from you. It makes your life easier. So me just, uh, just oh, I've actually seen the bit where I want to so drafted an email response for me. Let's see what that looks like. So if I go to my mail draft here, you see here, drafted an email response for me, and then I can then use uh, reply to the email, make it beautiful and pretty much response needed, response drafted. Awesome now. Easy peasy. So that is the flow. That is the goal. That is the idea of automating stuff. The mundane tasks, outsource it, focus just on the real things. And that's what I've done here with my mailbox. And from there to day now, I just live happily ever after. That's the goal. I actually have a to-do list to actually reply that person. Now I have a draft response that I can action that uh, going for. So that's pretty much the video. I don't want to waste too much of your time uh, rambling through stuff. I have explained it. I'll put a workflow file here if you're an NATN user. I'm going to be making more videos on NATN setup, automating stuff, how I do it. Um, if I make money with it, good. If I don't, awesome. The time it's saving me alone is enough money for me to earn from it. So that's pretty much. If you like this video, subscribe, share, and let me know if you want to see me automate any kind of stuff. That is the goal now, automating stuff. Have a happy day. I'm going back to work. Bye.